Hello and welcome again to the series, What's Wrong with English? I'm Matt Ellsworth. I'm a linguist, I'm a polyglot, I think a lot about language, it messes with my mind and I'm happy to let it mess with your mind too. So today I want to talk to you about possession in English and I have in my hand a pad of paper that's going to help me remember what it is I want to talk to you about. In, a, in um, Arabic, where they would say ma'i or ande, meaning I have, it, we translate it as I have, but it really means with me or at me. So they'd say ma'i kitab, there, I have a book, but it really means that I, it's with me. And the kitab is a little bit more like where I am, there is a book. Uh, in Russian, they say umenya, uh, which means at me or around me or where I am, it is. And we translate it as I have. In Russian, you can say imeyu, meaning I have. It's the, trans, it's the conjugation of imet, to, to have. But even that, English has a problem. I will deal separately with to own. But let's talk about to have. To have is finite, it's temporary, it's temporal. There's a time when you will not have. If you have something, there's a time when you did not have it, there's a time when you will not have it again. You don't have things forever because life ends and you don't take it with you. So I have really ought to mean and comes from ancient roots that mean to hold in your hand or have a hold on. To possess is really just to have power over. Again, limited, temporary, and not a good word for saying, it's mine, uh, and I own it. Well, now let's work with own. To owe is to have a debt towards someone. I have, uh, to eat is to put it in your mouth and chew on it and swallow it. I have eaten means uh, the, it's called the perfect participle and it means it's in the past I have performed the action of eating I have eaten and to owe in the past perfect sense is I have own which would have been O W E N I guess several centuries ago but it's now O W N I have own and that thing which I have own was what I owed. Follow me here, stick with me. That came to us in English as ought, as in I ought to. I owed it to someone to do it. I ought to do that. Well, you still owe it. If you ought to, you should do it. Should is also a past tense, as the D shows. It's the past tense of shall, but we won't go there. To own, then, is those things which you have own. So how is it your own? They are own to you. This comes from a nomadic mind, uh, a time when a one-room house served a family of eight. And the idea is that, let's say that your daughter's getting married. You don't have this and this and this and this. You don't have the cake, the dress, the wedding hall, the tables and chairs, but somebody owes them to you. To you, they are own. You understand it now? That which I own is that which is, is, has been owned to me. Somebody owes it to me. And so I collect. I say, you remember that uh, the time I helped you with? Do you remember that uh, bit I gave you? Do you remember that thing I let you have? Well, you owe me. My daughter's getting married and I need those things. Let's summarize. Own, I own it, does not mean I have it and it is mine. It means you owe it to me. I possess it means I have power over it for a time. I have it comes from ancient roots that literally mean it's in my hand. So English does not have a form that really, really, really means I own. But then let me talk again about the more ancient languages, those that have more direct touch with their ancient roots, like the Russian umenya, yes, knyga. Uh, I, there's a, I have a book, which really means where I am, there is a book, or the Arabic andi, or the uh, imoti in Hebrew, with me, a book. Ownership is a lie. 
the concept, the modern English thing that our language does to us by saying, I have it, I own it, it's mine, was not intended to come to us that way by the ancestors that spoke what gave us English. What they understood was, it's around me, it's at me, it continues to be long to me. See my second, uh, my other video about be long. But it, it, when I die, I recognize that they're gonna bury me in a sheet and none of this goes with me. So don't think that you own something. Think that you have it, you tain it, contain, retain, sustain, however you tain it. See my video about the second babble and you'll see why I have a problem with we don't have a tain. But ownership, possession, are, are, are illusions that we in our exchange of money culture believe we actually have. And you see the problem? I've just gone back to say we have it after saying I don't like how we have. That's what's wrong with English. Thank you for being here. Look for my book. It's been a pleasure.